I'm currently back in some more Roblox driving simulators. Right now, I'm gonna buy a new Formula car that just came out from Roblox. Maclan Formula Racing Experience. Even though it came out in driving simulator. And here's what I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you the garage. Hey, so I'm currently inside the garage. And here it is, the featured car. Okay, let me see this. This is one of the Maclan formula that I've never seen. 205 miles per hour, top speed, 2 seconds acceleration, handling and brakes have 100%. It runs like formula, but still I'm gonna buy this formula car. Anyway, let's buy this car. Here you go. And plus, I need to install the motors and then do some paint job over here. I'm gonna work on that. Okay, it has maxed out the engine, even the quad durables. I mean, I really need to upgrade powers because it runs fast and it works on a track. That's all I meant. Done. Okay, the stat shows 236 miles per hour and it has under 2 seconds. Just like Tesla Roadster's acceleration went for like 1.9 seconds with an electrical acceleration. And the handling and brakes have 100%. Okay, I'm gonna pick any paint color and I can install them from this car. Oh, that looks nice. I would pick the red color. And I'm gonna apply it. And the next color. Oh, it looks wonderful. What if I pick black ones? I mean, red is my favorite color, but black is the skin and the rims. I need to color the rims. No, I mean the tires, not the paint of all these. Maybe I should pick this one. Oh, it looks very decent though. Maybe... Tires would have colors on circle, but it doesn't change paint. So I'm gonna keep this far and applied it. There you go. And let's get into test. Right now it's currently nighttime, and let's pull out the Formula car. McLaren. MCL36 Nice Isn't that great? It says McLaren on a spoiler I mean this formula car can handle fast like a real racetrack It's made for racetrack but non-street legal it's not me on the road there are some rules for these cars different power strategy and these are longitude motors because it doesn't work on a road it's very powerful but don't drive on a road try in a circuit race or maybe a racetrack that might work for formula version anyway let's try and test these Okay, yeah, I'm gonna make a jump and make a test on a highway. Or maybe I'm gonna work on a track as well. Isn't that insane to drive this F1 car? It barely handles it. Yes, it barely handle handles the grip curve. As far as I'm racing, more than I can handle it. It's 
Top speed is weird, but handling is too fast. Okay, let's run this thing fast. 250 miles per hour. Not bad though. Still testing on a highway. Even also, I'm gonna try this on a ramp. Let's see if it works. Nice! It handles the light weight. Not bad though. Okay, let's try to work on handling stuff. If this car is made for a formula, then I need to try this. If it works on a track. You know, just an example. If you're doing grip curve just like this, it's like a formula. Another grip curve. See, basically, formula cars were meant for racetrack, more like handling the corner because you're racing around for that. How far you drive, how far you handle, it depends on that. Even gripping the curve, that's how it works. It's not even that easy when you're driving around or maybe using a formula techniques. These are just an example. Okay, it was hard to grip and make a turn just like this. It's not made for speed, it's made for a track. It's just a testing. See, this is how formula works that way. And even this, the corner, corner, everywhere is just a formula trick. Many kinds of formula testing that I did. I think I should stop it right here because I made a test of this formula car. Okay, so that's it. I'm gonna leave right now and also I'll see y'all in the next video.